Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, I want to talk to you about why I really, really like Marcus Lemonis and his show, The Prophet, which is on CNBC. I don't want to just talk about the show, though. I want to show you how his principles and his philosophy can actually help you out in your business. Maybe you're a small business owner and you're struggling, or you have a strong business and you want to continue to grow it, or you work for a company that, again, might be struggling and you need to turn it around, or is growing and you'd like to grow uh, even more. And so I'd love to share with you a little bit about his principles and how they can help you out uh, in business and why I really like his show. My name is Brad. I'm with Wooten CPA. The purpose of the YouTube channel here is to bring peace to your finance and tax responsibilities. So I hope my videos are doing that. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifications so you get notified when new videos come out. All right, so Marcus Lemonis, I, I think I saw an ad for The Prophet while watching uh, something on YouTube TV or Shark Tank. Uh, maybe actually, I think it was Shark Tank. And so I jumped over and I started watching it. And to be honest, I've been binging it a little bit lately because I love this show. Now, again, it deals with businesses uh, and it deals a lot with the financial side of the business, which, of course, is what I love to do, what I love to talk about and what I love to, to think about. Uh, on the business side, and so I just really enjoyed it. Now, Marcus himself comes across as really genuine and really sincere in the show, uh, and so you know I, I expect that he's like that in real life as well. You know, I, I don't think that it's just for the show. I think most people actually, uh, even people who might come across harsh in the show, I think once you get to know them, uh, there's always a softer side to people. And so Marcus coming across really, really sincere and genuine in the show. I mean, for example, he, he cares, uh, it seems, about the people more than the business and the profit. Now, he, he is there and he's going to make money and that's a, a big time goal of his, but he really does just seem to care more about the people. For example, I was watching an episode and he told the individual that their entire business was only worth about $250,000. And so typically, you know, if you would invest $250,000 in a business worth $250,000, you would take 100% ownership in it. You basically buy the business for that, that value. Now, he, he went through and told him it was worth that. And, and it really was based on the, the revenue, the products they had, and the net profit that they were turning each year. But he ended up investing the $250,000 for only a 30% stake, leaving them control of the business that they created, coming in and helping them improve it, and of course, uh, increase their own income. Uh, as he helped them increase the profitability and the success of that business. And so I really thought that was cool. I mean, essentially overpaying for the business in order to be able to come in and of course have some stake in it himself and get some return himself, but really focusing on the individual who started this business. I've seen a couple of episodes where he didn't think it was a wise move to invest in the business, but he still stuck around and helped them in improve their business uh, without really any stake at all in in that business and, and no real re reward other than helping the people out. All right, so let's jump to it. How uh, can this show, I mean, I think if you watch the show, it would help you out in your business as well. It's encouraged me. Uh, but really what I want to do is I want to talk about uh, Marcus uh, Lemonis's three Ps. Now, these are his, of course, I didn't come up with them. I'm just sharing them with you and how they might help you out in your business. Uh, but I'd love for you to jump over and watch The Profit as well uh, because it, it's really an enjoyable show if you like that that kind of uh, show where you're investing in business, you're, you're evaluating businesses and seeing the financial side of the business as well. And so the first P uh, that Marcus talks about is people. And he shows it over and over again on the show. I just mentioned it, how I think he really cares about the people. And so the basic principle here is, one, you have to have the right people in the right job. And two, you have to treat your people right. And so this really is the key, no matter what business you're in, you know, you have to have the right people and you have to treat them right. You know, if the relationships in your business uh, are not healthy, then your business is going to suffer. Absolutely. No doubt about it. The second P is process. And so process uh, can be anything from the process of recording your transactions in the bookkeeping system, or the process of manufacturing an item, or the process of taking an order, creating a design project, and ultimately delivering it to the client. So your process is what's going to create efficiency. Uh, it's also uh, from that efficiency going to create profitability, and it's also going to remove stress from you 
if you have good processes in place. The third P is product. And so, of course, you have to know your product and you have to be selling a good quality product in order for your business to be successful. Uh, so this includes, you know, uh, on his website, he mentions packaging, price, uh, and then again, the quality of the product. And so those are basically the three P's uh, from Marcus Limonis. And I just, I, I love how simple it really is. Now look, owning and running your own business is not easy. So don't think that I said easy because it is very difficult. It's, it's a challenge. It takes hard work. But what he shows you in these principles are that it is simple. If you take care of your people, if you have the right process and you have a good product, you can be successful in business. The other piece I love about this is, is that turnaround aspect. Again, I love coming in and helping clients see you know, where they can improve on things in order to make their business more successful, as well as on the tax planning side where they might be able to save uh, some taxes. Uh, and then also coming in and cleaning up like their books. Again, I've seen some episodes where the books just weren't accurate and Marcus kind of gives them this look like, how, how do you run a business without accurate books? And I love that because you can't, you can't run a good business without accurate books. You have to have good data if you want to make good decisions. You have bad data, you're going to make bad decisions because you don't have accurate information. And so again, simple, not easy, but very simple. Take care of your people. Take care of your processes, put the right ones in place, correct them if there's issues, correct the relationship if there's issues there, and then have the right product, again, uh, improving it if need be. But if you take care of those three Ps, according to Marcus Limonis, and I agree with him, then you can definitely either turn your business around uh, if it's struggling, because I guarantee you if it's struggling, there's a problem in one of, if not all three of those areas. But also, if you're growing and you continue to improve uh, in those three areas, your business will continue to be more and more successful and continue to grow. So again, I hope this video was really helpful to you. I hope that it helps bring peace to you and your finance and tax responsibilities. I hope that uh, it encourages you, again, whether you have your own small business or you're working for a company uh, that you really care about and you're trying to help it improve and grow. And don't forget jump over to CNBC and watch The Profit. I think that you can learn a lot about the questions Marcus asks, as well as the ways that he implements change in order to take these struggling businesses and turn them around into profitable, successful businesses. I know I've learned a lot from it and I'm enjoying uh, watching those episodes right now. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, and hit the bell so that you get notifications when I post new videos. Tell me in the comments whether you are liking these videos or maybe ideas for other videos. Tell me what you thought about this one. And if you've seen The Profit, let me know what your take on it is as well. Again, thanks for watching the videos. Mm -hmm.